Welcome to Cheyenne Chair Shabbat, where we delve into the depths of personal reflection and spiritual connection. In today's video, I'll be sharing my innermost thoughts and exploring the profound responses I've discovered from the divine. Join me on this journey of self-discovery and divine connection. Lord, I am lonely. Sometimes I wonder what I am chasing at the end of the day. What am I looking for? And what is the purpose of all this? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to wake up one day and not have the burden of caring about any of this and just live my life. What does that feel like? I am tired of being different. I am tired of feeling like the first thing that people see when they see me is you. I honestly sometimes do not feel good enough to fit this role. Maybe I don't have what it takes. I don't want to offend other people around me with my religious beliefs. I just want to be an easy person and live an easy life. God's response. Cheyenne, there are many beautiful, smart, and talented people in this world, but there are not many people in this world seeking after me with all their heart like you. I know sometimes it may seem hard and you will feel like it would be easier to just talk about simple things and simple matters of this world that do not cause division. But that is the life that my disciples and I lived. Remember, I told the truth to many. It did not benefit them. And they had me crucified. The same thing goes for my disciples. Yes, they had many followers who were inspired by their word, but the majority did not listen and they were executed for their beliefs. Remember what I said, take my yoke. And if you rely on me to try to lead and guide you, instead of physically trying to walk by yourself, you will not feel the burden and drain that you feel now. Stop caring about what others think of you. Stop seeking approval from humans. The only being you should be seeking approval from is me. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Be grateful for what I have given you. There are many people who would kill to walk in your shoes. Focus on the task and purpose that I set before you and let all other things become secondary in your life. Yes, Education is nice. The world of professionalism is nice. Social life is nice. Beauty is nice. But all those things you cannot take to the grave with you and will not make you a better Christian. You have seen the life of the rich and famous people in the world. They are nothing more but puppets being pulled this way and that way to be used to progress the ideologies of the Prince of Darkness. All the while they are sad depressed, and empty souls on the inside because they do not know who I am. Stay focused. Do not veer off course. Remember why you are here in the first place. Remember what I called you to do. James 1, 23-25 states, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks at his natural face in a mirror. For once he has looked at himself and gone away, he has immediately forgotten what kind of person he was. But one who has looked intently at the perfect law, the law of freedom, and has continued in it, not having become a forgetful hearer, but an active doer, this person will be blessed in what he does. As we conclude this episode of Shy and Share Shabbat, I hope you found inspiration and resonance in the exploration of my thoughts and God's responses. Remember, our inner reflections are often met with divine understanding and guidance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, may your journey be filled with enlightenment and spiritual growth. Shabbat Shalom.